How to use Square Website Builder Step-by-Step -step for Beginners 2022. Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. I hope you all are doing great and are having an amazing day. In this video, I bring you back yet another tutorial and in this tutorial, I will be showing you how you can create your very own website using squareup.com. So uh, squareup.com basically brings you this amazing interface and features that help you create the greatest website you want and it gives you a blank canvas on which you can create whatever you want. You can add any design, any features, any text box, anything you want, you can add it on Squareup. So uh, I'm just going to get right into it and it's going to be very simple, very easy. I'm going to walk you through all of it, watch it till the end and please listen to all the details because I'm going to be telling you some things that you will need to note on. So we're just going to go through it and I'm going to guide you and by the end of this video, you're going to know how you can create your very own website for whatever you like, social media, your business, your school page, whatever you like, you can create it at the end of this video. So uh, without further ado, let's get right into it. So first of all, what I need to tell you, we're going to be working on squareup.com. I'm going to say it again, squareup.com. So squareup.com is for creating websites for uh, small and large businesses that you have. Now, if we go and write Squarespace, Squarespace is also a website builder. Now, Squarespace is totally different from SquareUp and we don't want to get into Squarespace. So any place that we see Squarespace, we're going to stay away from it because that's not what we're here to use. We're here to use Square Up. So yeah, now that we have that on focus, that Squarespace and Square Up are totally different. They do have the same features. They both make websites, but again, squareup.com. So now that we've established that we're going to use squareup.com for creating our website, we're just going to go here and write Square Up website. And yeah, here you go. It's given you build a free online store or e-commerce website. So there are two ways to this. You can either use this way or well, I'm just going to open this in the new tab for now, or we can just go on Weebly. Now what Weebly is, is it also a free website builder that makes it easy to create a website, blog or online store. Why am I telling you to use Weebly is because squareup.com and Weebly are in a partnership and you can also use Weebly to create your square.com or squareup.com website. So I'm going to take you through both of these. So first of all, I'm going to take you through the main on how you can start it with the main website. So here's your squareup.com website. Their logo is like this. Don't mistake it with the Squarespace logo. It's a literal square. So once you have that, you're going to see all this nice interface where it's going to teach you how you can uh, mess around with the different features and create your very own website. So here you have Square Online, the online store that mates to order. So you're just going to click on Start Free. Now, once you click on Start Free, it's going to ask you to sign up for Square. So obviously, you're going to need to sign up for uh, the Square website. So you're just going to put in uh, all your email details. You're going to create a password that you will remember and then you're just going to agree to their terms and you're going to click on continue. Now, once it signs you up, then what you're going to need to do is get into the main gist of it. So here you go. Welcome to Square. We're going to click on continue and we're going to tell them what type of merchant we are. So are we an individual person who does basically if we're a solopreneur or if we're doing freelancing by our own, then we're going to go on individual or if we're a proper business with a corporation or a partnership or a charity, we're going to go on business. So uh, for now, let's just go on individual. And what would you uh, I'm just going to name it customer for now. I don't uh, really need to get into the main basics. Uh, what type of business do you run? Just put in any I'm going to just put in media related. Uh, let's do marketing and advertising and just click on continue. So once you put in your business, it's going to create this criteria and interface for you uh, regarding all the information you've just put in. So we're just going to wait for this to load up. So here we go. Once it's loaded up, it's going to see tell us what you're selling online. And here you can start putting the items you're selling. For example, if it's physical items, menu items, donations, I'm just going to put in something random like let's say physical items and memberships. And if none of these apply to you, you can just click on none of these apply to me, then continue. And once you continue, you're going to see how do you plan to fulfill your orders. Uh, just say uh, just do any of these. Then we're going to continue again. And uh, 
here is where the main thing starts. It says choose the experience that works best for you. If you want a single booking page, which will just have single uh, boxes of interfaces, it just it's more simpler. If you want a shoppable Instagram page, basically if it's going to be like uh, the Instagram uh, timeline page where it's going to give you three feeds at one time, or if you want a full-fledged website, like a proper business running website or an e-commerce website. So let's go for a full website because it's like a proper blank canvas for us. So I'm just going to go on that. I recommend you do that too. So it takes all of that information and makes a certain criteria regarding uh, all the information we just put in and it starts building your source so as you can see it says just a second while we build your store now while this is loading I'm gonna get you in on Weebly so if you see what is Weebly used for Weebly is an easy to use site builder with a free option it lets you create and publish attractive responsive design tiles blogs and online stores so yeah we're just gonna go and get right into that so we're going to click on Weebly.com and we're going to wait for that to load in. So over here, as you can see on our Square Up page, we can see Square.online and this is uh, where you're going to start configuring your things. So welcome, John. Let's get your site set up. Uh, you can start your designing right over here. And in your designing, what you're going to do is you're going to start editing the main outlook or so what you're going to do is on designing, you're going to edit the main outlook of your website. Basically, you're going to build the foundation on which you're going to make your website. So, uh, yeah, here you go. So first of all, obviously, you're going to need to get a custom domain uh, if you want to. They can also give you free templates of domains which aren't the greatest, but you can get a custom domain for a certain price. Now, obviously, you can start it from scratch if you want to, but they give you amazing styles over here. So I'm just going to take you through the styles for now. You can do it as a, a custom uh, if you want to later on. I'm just going to go with this style. I like this style a lot, so I'm just going to click on it. You can also customize this style if you want to. Uh, so yeah, I like this, so I'll just go and click on customize. Now, once I do that, from here on out, uh, if you want to set up a custom domain, you can do it from here. I don't want to right now, so I'm just going to skip that. Now, once you're here, this is where you can start your editing. So here's your main banner. You can add any type of image. You can change your text over here. For example, I'm going to put in marketing right here. And uh, like this graphic over here, I can change the color of it. I can change the link if I want to. I can change the style, the fill of it. And down here, I can also mess around with these things. If I want to, I can create different items of contents and put it up here. Then if we come down here, we can uh, give them the email newsletter that if they have any issues, they can discuss regarding over here. Then if we go down here, we can show them our location and different hours. So uh, yeah, that's a great feature as well. And then down here, we can give them our basic footer that ends the page. And yeah, that's just how easy it is to make your website. Now, obviously, this is the mobile preview. You can also skip to or switch to desktop preview, and that's how it looks on desktop. And once you mess around with all the things, what you can do is just click on preview. And this is how the website will look like to the user you're showing it to. And then once you like what you've done, you're just going to click on publish. Uh, you're going to make a custom domain. And like, so let's do search. It's going to start giving us custom domains. Then you're going to click on any custom domain and then you're going to publish it. And then what's going to happen is that link that you're going to have as your domain, you're just going to send it out to people and they're going to click on your website. And that's it. Your website is created using Square Up. Uh, so yeah, just that is how easy it is. So if you go on Weebly.com, as I just showed you, what happens is let's click on Weebly.com and look at where it redirects us to. If we click on it, it redirects us to our SquareUp.com page. So uh, both have the same feature. Uh, on Square, you can either start it from Square Up or you can just go on Weebly. The difference is that on Weebly, it's just much easier to sign up. In Square Up, you just need to give them more information and configuration. But yeah, it's pretty much the same. Weebly just directs you to your Square Up page, as you can see. And that's how simple it is, to be very honest, to like uh, create your own website using Weebly or Square Up. 
So that's about it. And I hope this was simple and easy for you because, uh, yeah, as you can see, it's very fast, efficient, secure, and simple. And it's reliable because it creates the greatest designs of websites that you can find. So, yeah, uh, I hope this video was easy to you. If you have any issues regarding it, please let me know down in the comments and I'll help you as soon as I can. If you want to see more videos and more website creation tutorials, please let me know that as well and I will make more for you. And yeah, till then, like the video and subscribe to the channel. It helps me out a lot and share this video around with anyone who needs to create a website or anyone in need and just leave a nice comment if you enjoyed the video. So yeah, uh, that's about it. That's all from me. I hope you all keep having a great day and I will see you next time. Goodbye.